have a seat at any table you like. I just had a look at the different conversations that were going on in, uh, in different rooms. Fantastic. Questions, ideas being shared, thoughts. Great session going on in the social media room with different videos being shared and different ideas. Lots of things happening. So if you come, come on in and we will uh, begin our final session. Rahit, maybe you, Rahit, maybe you could just uh, call people in and then we'll close those doors. Thanks. So, we're going to start our, our final session with a short video from the uh, people who have funded our, our summit. So, an important video with a closing message. Dear participants of the Global Summit, dear colleagues, dear friends, the role of civil society and local governance has been recognized in the post-2015 agendas. The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction and the 2030 Agenda stress the importance of involving civil society in developing targets and in implementing and monitoring the progress of the global agendas. By implementing the SDGs, states are committing to civil society-oriented, inclusive, participatory and representative decision processes, SDG 16.7, and to open access to information, SDG 16.10. It is increasingly un understood that without the contribution of civil society actors, it will not be possible to reach the targets put forward in the global agendas and to ensure sustainable development and resilience building. The German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, BNZ, shares this understanding and has been supporting the role of civil society in global agenda setting and implementation for the last several years. Since 2007, the international voice of civil society in disaster risk reduction has been heard through the global network of civil society organizations for disaster reduction, GNDR. GNDR is playing a crucial role in bringing together civil society actors in order to influence global agenda setting, increase cooperation between civil society and other stakeholders, and strengthen the capacities of its member organizations. This is why the BNZ has been cooperating with GNDR since 2017 in order to strengthen the network's institutional and operational capacities at all levels, notably by the establishment of regional advisory groups. We furthermore allocated contribution to GNDR for the implementation of the global agendas in the views from the frontline study. This study provides valuable inputs on the challenges and opportunities at the local level when implementing resilience building measures and conveys important messages to the attention of international forum. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done much, but the challenges for strengthening the role of local agendas are growing. The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, SFDRR, is only one of the disaster risk related frameworks that need to be implemented at the local level with the support of civil society. Other international agendas, too, are looking at the importance of local implementation. They often have strong links to disaster risk reduction topics and require building operational coherence in implementing the Sendai Framework, the Paris Agreement, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, and the new Urban Agenda. We believe that collaboration is key on different levels, across government levels, across sector, but also and foremost with all actors at local and community level. While the interaction and interdependencies between the agendas have been explicitly stated in the frameworks, so far there has been still too little progress in terms of translating these linkages into practical actions. Especially at the local level, stakeholders might be overburdened with the requirements of the post-2015 agendas, 
and the different implementation and reporting requirements that they include. With its global initiative on disaster risk management, the BNZ is picking up this huge challenge through the lenses of disaster risk management by supporting actors at global, regional, national and local level. Ensuring coherence between the different frameworks is, a, is crucial when it comes to planning, implementation and reporting. This will require close collaboration and a commitment to transcend the boundaries between uh, the climate, the disaster and the development sector at the global, regional, national and local levels. GMDR and its member organization will be an important partner in ensuring that practical coherence is achieved, especially at local level. But implementing the agenda means also a participatory, multi-stakeholder approach. We need a new understanding of stakeholder engagement. All local actors and citizens should be recognized as co-planners and co-creators in the efforts to achieve sustainable development. This includes local governments as well as civil society, business and other stakeholders. Improved dialogue and cooperation between them will ensure that no one and no place is left behind. This is why we're looking forward to work further with you on the potential civil society actors have for disaster risk reduction. The NDR's global summit is coming to an end today. The World Civil Society Organization dedicated to disaster reduction and together become stronger thanks to the, is, this event. I wish you all the best for your further commitment and a safe journey back home. got you all here, their funding. So let's spend two minutes wishing that Germany will win the World Cup, yeah? <laughs> okay, that, that's over, that's over. Okay, coming to the, the closing speeches, thank you for your patience and it's fantastic to see you all still here. Um, one of the ways in which uh, the GNDR Secretariat supports the membership is by attending meetings, and boy do we enjoy it. So we, we sit on um, a council with the OECD, which is all the donors. Um, we work with the UN, uh, ISDR of course, and UNDP with their uh, GBP programs and so on. And last week I went to Mexico City um, to sit with the World Bank, who have a global fund for disaster risk reduction and our role on that consultative group with the World Bank is to make sure that the, the projects that they start to plan actually take into account multi stock stakeholder engagement and community voice. So that was my first consultation group with the World Bank and when they were doing the rounds at the table the, the, the chairman looked at me and said, ah, you're the new director of GNDR are you? You've got big shoes to fill then. So thank you Marcus for that legacy. Um, but he was right. Um, so I have big shoes here to fulfill expectations of the, the membership as well and um, frankly I'm really proud and honoured to be, to be part of the Secretariat who's doing that for you. Many of these expectations are enshrined in the strategy that you have or have had um, which was developed in 2016 and endorsed at the, the last Global Summit um, and that strategy is what guides the Secretariat uh, to, to help the network pursue its ultimate objectives. And when I joined GNDR, I was given this spreadsheet. I, you can't see it really, but you know, you've got the objectives, and then every objective has lots of sub-objectives. And then for three years, we have monthly columns and the boxes when we're going to uh, achieve or implement any of the actions which the, the membership has asked us to implement. This is seriously efficient. Um, and as long as there's money, uh, over the next five years, we will be achieving these three strategic objectives through the sub-objectives that you've given us. Um, and amazingly, on, on the money side of things, again, in the, in the strategy document, you'll find a, a five-year budget. Now, I've worked for a lot of charities, and I've run a fair few charities as well. And to find yourself in year three of a five-year plan where your budget for the year is almost exactly the same as was planned three years ago is amazing. And that's what the budget which the Global Board approved a couple of months ago for 2018-19 is. There's a, a couple of hundred thousand more being spent on 
objective one this year and a bit less on objective three, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. And given the situation that Anoni and Faro have referred to over the last couple of days about the financial situation we were in 18 months ago, it's a phenomenal achievement by um, all of you guys, the, the board, the membership, and the secretariat. Um, but fulfillment of a, a strategy is, is not enough. Um, we're looking for impact, um, and that's what we want to make sure happens. So your board, your representatives on the board, are here to hold the secretariat account um, for delivering the strategy on, on behalf of you, the membership, and the, the purpose you've given us. Um, we also run evaluations, so we, we're doing, we have done a, an evaluation of the Frontline Project, and we'll be doing an evaluation, a mid-term evaluation of this five-year strategy during the coming year. But critically, of course, the, the impact is, is you, your reactions. Um, and that's why this week has been so valuable for me and the Secretariat and the Board to, to be with you and hear what you're thinking. You know, and even some of the, um, the, the comments we had earlier about the BFL countries, couldn't it be done in my country? To us, yes, this, this will inspire us to, to work with you in those countries to, to find the money, um, but also it's a, it's a testament to the passion with which um, the projects that GNDR has developed and is delivering are felt around the room that my country has to be part of this, get me on that list of 50 plus. Um, so it's your reactions that I've been listening to primarily this week, um, so that the strategy is not just um, the, the skeleton and the flesh, um, which is what is written on that paper, um, but you guys who are the, the beating heart of the, the membership are actually helping us understand what the strategy means to you and how we can help deliver it. Um, so as I've been listening this week, I didn't know when I came what I would hear most of, whether it would be uh, about DRR and resilience practice or whether it would be um, about GMDR and its processes and how it can um, serve you better. In fact, I've heard both, um, and that's incredibly valuable. We can't, um, as, a, as a group, as a membership of Secretary and Global, run a network uh, where we're not getting the, the solutions from, from each other. Um, and that's valuable for us, and um, from what I hear, has been valuable for you this week too, which is fantastic. So in listening to you, I've stored away a lot of information. I can't replicate all of it, um, but I've stored away some things which I and the, the team can't do anything about in the short term, um, mostly because of money, but we'll work on it where, where we're needed. So for example, there was quite a lot of talk about uh, national networks, um, and those are, are clearly valuable. Um, so where those are, are needed, um, the member-led solutions, which Farah has referred to often, will be part of helping those set up and be effective, and where we can uh, assist, whether that is with money, if we can find it, um, or whether it is with things like um, communications to, uh, to announce the, the fact of that meeting or the outcomes of that meeting. And we heard from Papalua earlier about the impact of the media on the king. You know, how much better can you get than if we can contribute to that kind of strategy with and for you? Um, and let us know. I've also taken on board and the kind of things that, that you want. Um, you want some training, some capacity strengthening in certain areas. That's in our plans and uh, hopefully we'll be able to deliver that. The, the, the plea for expertise, um, great. Um, let's see whether the global platform, uh, sorry, the community platform can actually identify people who are experts in child-focused DRM, which you can go to if um, you have a question on that kind of thing. There's lots more which has come out of my listening, and I'm sure my colleagues listening this week uh, will be analysing that in the in the report and in our wash up. Um, we will take it forward, and we will continue to be stronger together. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, uh, one of the people who has been most busy this week has been our friend uh, Jeff at the front here. Um, and sometimes we see him, sometimes we don't. Yesterday evening we didn't see him because he was hard at work compiling the different photos, the video footage that he's been taking from the various different sessions that have been going on this week and putting together a very short summary of what we've all been up to together this week. 
So, um, and to, and none of us have seen this, but I haven't seen this, very much looking forward to, uh, to Jeff's compilation of some of the images and words that have been, uh, have been shared together this week. So as a way of summarizing what we've been up to, all the way since Tuesday, all the way to uh, today, let's take a look at, at the summary. to continue to connect with those in the room 
um, to share what you've learned with other people um, when you go back home with um, people from your organisation, with the members present in your country that weren't able to attend, um, and to get involved in BFL and some of the other campaigns that we've got going. And uh, how do you all get involved in those campaigns and share your knowledge and expertise? I hope you're all thinking the community platform because that's what I'm hoping that you're thinking. Of course, we've got the regional platforms coming up also. And if you want to get involved in those and in the process around those, please do speak to your regional development coordinator or any member of staff. We've tried to make this, uh, this summit the most member-driven summit that we've seen so far. Um, and so we've listened to the feedback that you've provided in the past, and one of those things was that you wanted uh, some more kind of training sessions. And one of the parts of that is the PBA session, the Partnership Breakers Association training that we were able to offer at this summit. Can we just say a big thank you to Michelle for uh, delivering that training? Which was fantastic. She was incredibly jet lagged, but I think she, you know, she did some fantastic sessions for all of you, and it wasn't noticeable at all. Um, if you weren't able to go to those sessions, there are some more materials that are available um, outside uh, in in that um, kind of room out there. So you can pick some of those up and perhaps even take some back for your colleagues um, at the back of the room. Sorry, sorry, Michelle. So they're at the back there. Um, we also had over a hundred applications to lead sessions at this summit and from that we had to whittle it down to just 16 sessions and we'd be really excited to hear your feedback on those because I mean I was in some of them I think they were all great but it's really important to know from you how useful you found um, some of those sessions and the summit overall um, that was the first time that we've run member-led sessions um, so, of course, it's a learning process. Some things would have been fantastic. Some, you might have some suggestions about how we can make improvements to that in the future. So, saying that, you should all have um, an evaluation form. And just to make sure that we get it back from you, we're going to give you uh, just a couple of minutes now to fill in that form if you haven't done already, because it's really important to us that we get some feedback from you. And, of course, you can also speak to any of the members of staff and just let us know what you think went well and, and um, what we can do next time round. So I'll just give you a few moments to fill in that form. All right, thank you very much. And it, I enjoyed a lot, and it, this is, I think, this is the after third time. So, every two years we are getting together and it is making more stronger. But it is, you know, looking at this, you know, it's a global disaster today. That it's no boundaries there, and any, any, anything can happen any moment and anywhere. And keep ready for this, that meeting, the exigencies. Sorry? So, it is, I want to, it's, you know, <coughs> Uh, this is this is opportunity to, to give my it's, it's you know, failure. And if you failure in India is not here, I think it's it's, it's logical, it's a deliberate, it's a strategic, I do not know, but it's, it's looking at this global climate change. More destructive storms will be there and it's, there will be more destructive drought, desertification, floods, hurricane and everything will be there, particularly in Asia. And it's you what anything passes through and if you what anything bounce back. India, that it's, it's no priority categorically that that will be affected more. So in other way, we are ready to to mitigate this, mitigate this and combat this is a, a but it, it needs its convergence. 
and we are ready to provide you any, anything, anything convergence, if any, any Asia or Pacific or any, any <coughs> continent that needs support, we can ready to support. But it's, I felt it's, 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 there is no, we have felt it's in India is not least, but it's, I think that it's, we should have a thought on how we can put it together and make it more resilient and it's bring together more resources. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love the passion. Grab the mic, grab the mic. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, just finish your feedback forms. Yes. Has, has everyone done their feedback forms? Yes. Because we're sort of fantastic. Okay, so we just wanted to provide a few moments. And then I know that uh, Lucy, Jonathan, and Farah want to say a few words just to build build on what's been said there in terms of thank yous and some reflections. So, uh, thank you. Feedback forms done? Yeah? Okay, great. They'll be collected in. So can I invite Lucy and Jonathan and, uh, and then Farah to, uh, to join us? Right, so it's thank you times. Um, so thank, first of all, just to reiterate what Emma said, thank you so much to all the members who have participated and contributed you all have just so enthusiastically. So I just a round of applause to everyone here. I know there's a lot of jet lag people, a lot of challenges in getting visas, but you all